Tick need to run the city, no cap rap news, man. We back with another reaction. This time we got uh this boy Rick Ross is on Freeway Ricky Ross rather is on um Joe Rogan and it said Jay Z was not the guy pal. I guess that's Rick Ross talking to Joe Rogan, telling him Jay Z was not the man. We finna find out what's going on though. Shit me. Let's see what's popping, man. Let's go. Actually know the story, the whole story, the real story, your story of you and, and this guy who calls himself Rick Ross. I think older people know, uh, but younger people don't. They, they don't get it. Wow. They, they, they don't care. They, they're not educated on facts. You know, they don't go with facts. They go with what they hear on the radio, uh, what their local DJ talks about. Those are the things that they go with. And, and we already know that the local DJ is getting paid by the record companies. So that's what they believe. Mm. I believe that they really believe that um, Jay Z got rich selling drugs. You know, they they believe that. I don't believe Jay Z got rich selling drugs. You know, he doesn't act like a drug dealer. In in my personal opinion, um, what's the difference <clears throat> with the way he acts? Well, well, oh drug dealers are, are kind of like we're looking for somebody to help come up. Because when you help him come up, you come up. You know, say for instance, if I find a, a guy, he's down on his Thanks, own, though. and I give him a kilo, and he starts to sell this kilo, I benefit every time he sells that kilo because I get a percentage right. of what he does. But the way the record business works is they don't help anybody. You know, when, they, when they get on top, they just stay there, and it's almost Thanks, like keepers. You know, they don't want other people to get in. Um me, I would have been looking for somebody like me getting out of jail. Oh, Rick Ross is getting out of jail? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be at the gate when he get out. I'm going to show him everything he's supposed to do. Right. Because right, I know he has he has the discipline. He has the focus. That shit making plenty of sense to me, man. Facts. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you when you're right. Let's go. He's going to make it. Yeah, but don't you think that that's just you? I think you have a unique perspective. No, nah, it ain't just him. It, it shouldn't just be him. It ain't just him either, though. See, Joe Rogan, you got a different perspective because you this white guy, and you come from a whole different world than what he talking about. So you don't even, you wouldn't understand it, bro. You wouldn't understand this mentality that he's talking about. And it make perfect sense, though. Make perfect sense. Is it really? I got a successful drug dealer's perspective. A successful drug dealer's perspective. <laughs> Let me correct that. And yeah. most of the drug dealers I was around was successful. Um, because I used to try to teach them. I taught them what, what I did. You know, mm. when they was young, I would say, hey, this is what you do. This is how you do it. This is who you look for. And so you're probably right. A successful drug dealer's perspective. And most successful drug dealers go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> and so we know Jay-Z. Most of prison, them. Even though he was in a car with, uh, uh, I think, Calvin Klein, when, when he got arrested, uh, DA let Jay-Z go. <laughs> that's, that's the story that I heard. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Of how he was in a car with Calvin Klein? Were they talking about jeans? What were they doing? No, there's a guy named Calvin Klein that was Different guy? from New York. Oh, and no. Calvin, Calvin Klein, a drug dealer? He was a drug dealer. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. He was a drug dealer. <laughs> See what I'm saying? He talking to the... You can't tell this kind of talk with this fella, man. He ain't. He won't understand. He think you talking about the gene dude, Calvin Klein. Hell no. Nah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go, man. I thought you mean like... No, the hey, this is what Joe Rogan hearing. Hey, That's all he hid, my nigga. Let's go. He thought the Calvin guy. Clients, yeah. No, no, no. This was a drug dealer. Um, <laughs> oh, and, that's hilarious. And he got so arrested. he took Calvin Klein's name. Like Rick Ross took your name? <laughs> <laughs> that's his name was really Calvin Klein. That's possible. No, I, I see this one. His real name was Calvin Klein. Really? Oh, yeah, that's his real that But even if it ain't, my nigga, it's alias. You got to have your alias, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you want an alias to keep him off for your real name, for real. You feel me? His okay. name, you know, because um, he was a real street guy. Mm. Went to prison in, in, in the whole nine yards. But it's a story that, that talks about that and how Jay Z was in the car with him when he got arrested. And, you know, oh my 
he didn't get arrested. So more than likely, that meant that, in, in, in my experience, if you're in a car with a drug dealer and the, the cops raid, they take everybody that was involved. So that tells me that wasn't involved with mm. that, that activity. Go. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Come on, Jay-Z now. Don't tell me you've been faking the whole while, bro. Don't tell me that. But this shit make kind of plenty of sense, though. If a niggas, if three niggas in the car and somebody rob a bank and they get pulled over, everybody going to jail. If you was with him when he robbed his bank, if you was in the car, everybody in the car going. How he get out of that shit, I don't have a clue. Hmm. Say it ain't so, Jay-Z. Say this shit ain't so, man. Let's go. At least at that time. That they knew. Right. Then usually the DA, they, they watch you and some of them when they're not lazy. But how, what is it like in the world, like if you rap about selling drugs and about how you were selling drugs, but you weren't selling drugs, that can't be looked upon well. If you're lying and well, you're it, making up a fake persona. It shouldn't be. If you smart, you better lie. <laughs> about every goddamn thing because why wouldn't you man this shit is art man it's i don't know when when niggas want to take the imagination and creativity out of rap for that would that shit would make that shit dope man that would make it dope man you can give a fuck if you lying or not if this shit the song hard that shit hard bro that's all i want to hear some dope ass music i don't give a fuck if it's the truth make this shit fire Lie. Please lie and make this shit dope. Show them creativity and imagination, man. And that's what that shit about, bro. So, but these niggas want you to tell the truth and tell on your goddamn self. Then you, they, everybody looking stupid, looking crazy when you get busted, man. Everybody like, oh my God. yeah, it's too late then, though. So, fuck that shit. Let's go. Right. It shouldn't be. Back, you know, in the 90s when. When, when, you know, when rap was supposed to have been authentic, you know, mm -hmm. people wrote their own lyrics and right. and, and that stuff, it, it was a little different than the way it is right now. You know, now, you know, people can write your lyrics and you can... You All kind of fool gays and shit. Their verses. Uh, it, it's just totally different than, than the way it used to be, you know. Um, you can still nigga a whole persona. To the top now. Mm -hmm. Image and everything. Not talent necessarily. The most talented guys are not the guys who who are running winning. The nope. A lot of the talented guys are producers too, right? And they can kind of make anybody famous. Yeah. If yeah. you have some talent and a look, and you go pay the right producer, because yeah, I mean, there's a lot of examples. Because music is, is, you know, music is is programming. You know, right. you hear the sound and you like that sound, and, and that's why we hear the same sounds over and over and over. It's radio, business. It's the same producers that are producing mm. the music, like. Uh, I'm just waiting to get my money right so I can go to the producers and be like, hey, I know you want been putting all these guys on. I got a guy for you. Put him on. We ready. How much you need? 100000 Do it. Let's you know, go. That's really what it is. You know, it's only a few guys who, who music you hear on the radio over and over again. Wow. But then you have people who just stand out just because of talent still. You still have that. Once, once in a while, you know, yeah. want, want to break through, you know. You get somebody that's like super, super good, and 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 you know yeah. their music just just even if that rare. person got a machine behind them, bro. Some money. Mm. You got You got Facebook and TikTok, and, gatekeepers, and yeah, yeah there's just got to market this lot, shit, bro. Industry, right? There's a lot of money involved. As soon as there's a lot of money, involved, this shit tough people, without no money, man. People want to maintain control of that. They don't want someone coming along. Yeah, man. Um. There you have it, bro. Uh, I kind of agree with some of the stuff Rick Rick Ross was talking about. Um, hmm. I don't know about the Jay Z stuff because I went there and you know that shit ain't even my business for real. I just wanted to react to it. It's, it's a good little conversation starter though because that shit made sense. Why why wouldn't he arrest it if he was in the car with him? Not even arrested, you know what I'm saying? You have to get the case and then, but. Why they didn't take him down? They would have took if I was in that bitch. They would have took me down there, and I ain't got a goddamn thing going on. So, but 
Yeah, it is what it is, man. Anyway, let's subscribe to this channel, um, University of JRE. Let's get them a a like too, bro. It, it's it's cool to hit like and subscribe, my nigga. It don't cost nothing, bro. Y'all hit this like button and subscribe to this channel too, man. That's how we do it, man. It's enough out there for everybody, bro. If everybody look out. Anyway, appreciate y'all boys pulling up, man. Tick need to run the city, no cap rap news, peace.